Hello guys, in today's video we're going to check out the top 5 camera phones in the market for this year. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I tried to list them based on their price, quality, durability and more. To see the price and find out more information about these phones, you can check out the description below. Also, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with the latest technology reviews. Ok, so let's get started with the video. At number 5, it's the Apple iPhone XS. Apple finally delivers an iPhone with a huge screen, and for movie watching, game playing fans, the iPhone XS Max is an exciting new addition to the range. The iPhone XS Max is the biggest smartphone Apple has ever made, with a 6.5 inch display, hardly any screen bezel, and the now iconic screen notch, it's a dominating presence in the hand. From a design perspective, the iPhone XS Max is deceptive. If you pick it up, the rounded size of the handset will make it feel noticeably thick, which is a good thing in my opinion, since you'll feel more comfortable holding it. It's only 7.7mm thin, which makes it thinner than all of its predecessors, and the reason for this is pretty simple – tapered edges. The steel frame around the outside and the new formulation of glass on the front and rear, which is tougher than the glass on the iPhone X, give the iPhone XS Max a supremely premium look and feel, while its resistance to dust and water has also been enhanced. In addition, the iPhone XS Max and XS both feature Smart HDR, an improved mode over the standard HDR on the X, which improves shots with high contrast, ensuring all areas of the photo are well lit and detailed. The protruding module on the rear of the handset still houses two 12 megapixel snappers in a vertical stack, separated by a quad LED true tone flash and a 7 megapixel true depth front camera. You can change the mode to portrait mode, portrait lighting, depth control and smart HDR. Speaking of smart HDR, as we mentioned, it benefits from this particular mode and gets the addition of portrait mode. While the rear cameras capture the depth in a shot for a natural blur effect, the front camera works out the bokeh effect digitally. Apple has removed the headphone jack, in which case the Apple earpods are going to be included in the box, but keep in mind that you can't listen to music and charge the phone at the same time since they use the same lightning port. Finally, this unit has the biggest battery life that Apple has ever put in an iPhone with 3.174 mAh capacity, which is also great. Overall, this is the best built phone out there so far, and since it's on top of our list, this makes it the most recommended option for you. At number 4, it's the OnePlus 6T A6013. The OnePlus 6T A6013 smartphone is a uniquely designed piece of tech which is armed with Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 chips, 6GB of RAM, 64GB of internal storage, and most importantly, it boasts a dual rear 12 plus 20 megapixel, which will take your photographing experience to a whole new level. The OnePlus 6T runs on Android OS version 9.0 out of the box, while it comes with a LiPo 3700 mAh non-removable battery. It features a 6.4-inch AMOLED display with 1080x2340 pixel resolution. AMOLED technology is widely used for smartphones because of their gorgeous colour reproduction abilities and very deep blacks. The most important part of this smartphone is its unique camera. While it's equipped with autofocus, it means that it boasts the ability to fine-tune the focus of the camera. Also, the rear camera has optical image stabilisation to counteract camera shake, so as you can see, you'll be well equipped with everything you need. In addition, the front camera has 25 megapixels, while the dual rear camera boasts a 12 and 20 megapixel with a 4032 by 3024 pixel resolution, with autofocus and optical image stabilisation as mentioned before. Feature-wise, the smartphone sensors measure physical quantities and transmit them to the application processor. The phone's accelerometer is a built-in electronic component that measures tilt and motion. Also, a fingerprint sensor is one of the easiest and most secure ways to protect your smartphone, while the proximity sensor detects when a user is holding the phone near their face during a call and turns off the display to prevent keypad presses and battery consumption from the display. While in terms of multitasking, the 6T has dual SIM capability, meaning that you can insert two different SIM cards and use them both from one phone. 
Moreover, the 6T is definitely a must-have, and if you're looking for something similar, don't hesitate to purchase this product, because you won't regret your decision. At number 3, it's the Google Pixel 3. Google's Pixel 3 has the best smartphone camera, if not the best camera that you could ever find, which also comes at a fairly reasonable price and can suit the budget of many. So let's get straight into the action and reveal what's so special about this camera. Design-wise, the Pixel 3 retains Google's familiar two-tone design, the back has a shiny glass at the top, while the tower has 80% of a matte finish. In terms of aesthetics, the Pixel 3 fits easily in one hand for the most part and you can operate it without resorting to two hands. This is also probably one of the best reasons to choose the Pixel 3 over the Pixel 3 XL. Furthermore, its screen size is big enough, yet the phone hand feel is rather manageable. Additionally, the entire back is made of soft-touch glass using Corning Gorilla Glass 5. It's the same strengthened glass that protects the front screen, and it's all sandwiching an aluminium frame that has a hybrid coating. It has a 5.5-inch OLED screen that's big and expansive, and looks like it has much richer colours than last year's Pixel 2. There's also noticeably less bezel thanks to its 18 to 9 aspect ratio rather than the dated 16 to 9. When it comes to battery life, well, this particular model boasts an impressive 2915 mAh battery, which doesn't really surprise me because we got way more advanced batteries than that, but either way, it can go through a great deal of usage still. Performance-wise, the Pixel 3 is a stable and fast performer, while it's powered by the latest Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 chipset and 4GB of RAM, while rival phones are up to 6GB or even 8GB of RAM. The on-screen home and back buttons have been visually downsized and come with different gestures attached to them. Moreover, the right-aligned volume slider interface makes it easier to wrap your head around, whether you're adjusting call volume or media volume. To conclude, if you're looking for a premium smartphone that looks and performs premium, this could be your best answer. At number 2, it's the Huawei P20 Pro. The Huawei P20 Pro would be an extremely good option, especially if you're looking for a smartphone that combines an attractive design, three rear cameras and dual SIMs for a price that's affordable for dozens of customers on the market. From a design perspective, the P20 Pro comes in three colours on Amazon, and you can choose whichever you like best. We've chosen the Midnight Blue because it looks very neat, and it'll get your attention right away. This unit has an eye-catching body which is composed of glass and aluminium, and to be more precise, the glass is present at the front and the back, while the aluminium is set at the frame, and we think you'll indeed be fascinated by the design. At the front top, there's the camera of 24 megapixels with an f2.0 aperture, which at the same time supports fixed focal length. And on the bottom, there's a set of stereo speakers and one physical button, which I find really useful because these things maintain the smartphone's minimalistic appeal. At the back, there are three cameras with 40 megapixels, 20 megapixels and 8 megapixels accordingly. And they're also followed by a dual tone flash and light temperature sensor. But now let's talk about performance. The P20 Pro has an octa-core high silicon Kirin 970 processor with 128GB of ROM and 6GB of RAM memory. Moreover, the 6.1-inch OLED screen has a resolution of 2240x1080 with an aspect ratio of 18x7x9, by by which means that it's really wide, and I think you'll love it. Moving on. All of the three rear cameras are unique in their own way. For example, the one with 40 megapixels is capable to capture vibrant and accurate photos. The 20 megapixel has a monochrome sensor, so it can reveal many details, while the 8 megapixel is good for zooming. Finally, the 4000 mAh battery can last between two and two and a half days of consistent use, but take in mind that if you push it to its maximum, this may vary. To conclude, the Huawei P20 Pro deserves your attention because it can compete with the iPhone X and S9 Plus on one side, and on the other side, it costs less than both of them. And at number one, it's the Xiaomi Pocophone F1. The Xiaomi Pocophone F1 is considered the best overall regarding performance, longevity, and quality. There's plenty to like about this unit, and you'll see why soon enough. So let's have a look at what else is unique about this phone. When it comes to design, this device is available in the market in two color editions, 
graphite black and steel blue. Both of them look and perform fantastically and are built of polycarbonate and plastic. At the top center, you'll find a 20 megapixel camera, which features an HDR and video recording of 1080 pixels, while at the back, there's a dual camera of 12 megapixels and 5 megapixels, which contain dual LED flash, HDR, panorama, depth sensor, dual pixel PDAF, and video picture capabilities of 2160 pixels and 1080 pixels. Those who've purchased this phone claim that both cameras produce a super quality picture. To continue with regards to performance, this smartphone is a full HD Plus Android with IPS LCD capacitive touchscreen with 16 million colors and a size of 6.18 inches. It packs a resolution of 1080 by 2246 pixels and a ratio of 18 to 7 to 9. It is multi-touch and has Corning Gorilla Glass which allows a better protection. This device houses a non-removable LiPo 4000 mAh battery, which can handle up to a couple of days of work. And if you're gaming, you can expect to go through at least a full day of use. In addition, this unit is composed of 64GB ROM, 6GB RAM memory, and a micro SD slot that can go up to 256GB. This will secure you enough space to fulfill your needs. This time, Kiaomi comes with a processor of high caliber, Qualcomm Snapdragon 845, which means that you'll get the Snapdragon's powerful artificial intelligence, so your phone will have warranted great performance. Furthermore, users claim that they are extremely satisfied with almost everything that this phone offers, starting from the design, decent cameras, fantastic battery life, superb performance, and a most important in my opinion, excellent value for money, which means that for the price you pay, you get the best overall smartphone in the market. To conclude, the Xiaomi Pocophone F1 is the best phone Xiaomi has ever made, so brand loyalists will no doubt love it. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you found it helpful, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this in the future. If you have any questions related to these products, you can leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.